Okay, so we'll, we'll begin because, uh, well, it's just nice to meditate. Right. So we'll begin and by just making yourself, making sure you're nice and comfortable. And hopefully the room that you're in is quiet enough and uh, you um, won't have any anybody knocking on the door for the next hour. So you are in a ha, no obligations hour. <laughs> Making sure you're comfortable and relaxed. Right. So closing our eyes. And just taking a deep breath or two or three. Ha! Ah, a nice sigh. Breathing out any weariness, anything we have been holding on to. Breathing it out. And breathing in the fresh air air that is freely given to us, that we have every single day of our lives, that we never appreciate. There is air to breathe. And we are able to breathe. We're not dead. We're not ill in hospital. We don't have asthma. We don't even have a cold, maybe some, but. But being grateful for being alive today. being grateful for having air to breathe. Being grateful for being able to breathe. And just being with that perception, that sense of being grateful. For all that we have, all that we take for granted, but is freely given to us. Noticing your breath 
go in and out. Again, so fortunate that we can breathe. So fortunate to have air to breathe. So fortunate to have a roof over our heads, food in our stomachs. Not everybody has that. And bringing your mind back to that sense of gratitude, to a sense of being here, breathing. Being appreciative. all that we are given. Bringing your mind back as it wanders away. Remembering how much we are given freely with nothing expected in return. air that we breathe, the water we drink, the earth that we that holds us, the earth that feeds us, all freely given with nothing expected in return. This is what metta is, unconditional giving. Just as the air that we breathe is given unconditionally, the earth that we walk on does not expect anything in return. the water, the space, freely given. Can we relate to that? Can we relate 
to the earth, to the air, to the water that gives of itself. However much it is polluted, undermined, unappreciated, taken for granted. Whatever anybody says or does, the air we breathe is still the same. It does not give any less of itself. The water we drink is still the same. It does not give any less of itself. And the earth we walk on. Gives of itself over and over again. Can we relate to that? Can we see that in ourselves? Because it's not you, it's just what is there when you are out of the way, when you are no longer trying, when you are just your natural self. So when your mind wanders away, bringing it back to that perception of what it might be to be the air, to be water, to be the earth. giving, expecting nothing in return. Doesn't matter what anybody else does to the earth, does to the water, does to the air. It still gives. is not affected. It is not dependent. It has no agenda. opening your mind and seeing if we can be like the earth be like water be like air
bringing your mind back when it wanders away. And bringing your mind back to your own self. And perhaps we bring to mind someone who we really feel embodies that sense of unconditional giving. A human being, it could be a teacher, a great being that you have heard of, could be someone you know, someone you don't know, but a human being that you feel embodies that sense of unconditional giving, unconditional being unconditional love. Do you know somebody like that? Or do you feel you have read or heard about somebody like that? For me, I think of, well, Ajahn Brahm, quite honestly. Um, some great, the Dalai Lama. Um, it could be your dog. But I bring that person to mind. And somehow, when I bring that person to mind, something of their qualities, I remember. and I resonate with. Can you do that? Can you resonate? Can you imagine what it feels to be that being that gives expecting nothing in return. Feel their vastness. Their lack ego, lack of nobody there really, except kindness and love. It could be anyone, like I said, it could be your dog or your pet hamster. in your own way. Imagine what it feels like to be them.
because we do know there is part of us that is equally pure and so we do know Imagine the things that they do in their day or how they may be interacting just a moment. Anything that helps you to resonate to see through their eyes, to feel as they feel. Filling your mind with that emotion, that feeling. And using whatever images or just little thoughts that help you to bring your mind back to a sense of how it feels to be a being with limitless love. Bringing your mind back if it wanders away. Metta meditation is a feeling, and that's what we hold what we hold on to. And that's what we keep on bringing our mind back to. But it happens naturally because you enjoy it. It's something you recognize. Something that is a part of yourself. By just focusing on it. Remembering what it feels like to be a being of limitless love. bringing your mind back. Remembering the feeling. The 
pieces of pictures and words that help you to jog your memory. <clears throat> See it in your mind's eye. And if your mind starts to drift, just using things that will make it, make it delight in this, uh, in this uh, meditation. What makes your mind delight? in unconditional love. What thoughts, what memories, what um, what, uh, yeah, what helps you to delight in this, in this, uh, emotion. How can you make yourself be that being that loves unconditionally? Having that emotion in our mind of a, someone who gives expecting nothing in return, we think of someone in our lives who we wish well. But again, we are that person who gives expecting nothing in return. As a mother loves her only child. We think of someone in our lives who we wish well and we are there for them giving expecting nothing in return now 
not expecting them to change or improve. Yes. Or even be happy. We are there for them. Giving of ourselves. Expecting nothing in return. It's not a sacrifice. We are no, no less for it. We are like the earth, the air, the water. We have no agenda. We wish that person that we care for, that they are well. We wish, but we don't expect. We're there by their side, helping them on their journey. should they wish to accept it. And then we think of those who we don't know necessarily, the people around us, in our neighborhood, the people we work with. And again, we wish them well. Expecting nothing in return. not even expecting them to be happy. Imagine what it feels like to be that great being or the dog or the hamster. Then good we wish all those people we don't really know, the people and beings that populate the space around us, going through their struggles and difficulties in life, 
and we wish that they are well and safe and at ease. And we spread our wishes further. Out to the greater world. Going further out. To encompass all beings. in places of difficulty, places of confusion, in places of delusion. May all beings be well. May all beings be at ease. Remembering what it feels like to be that being with limitless love. We wish all beings find peace in their lives. Find the source of true happiness not material happiness. May they realize their ultimate potential we spread our loving kindness to all beings regardless Bringing our mind back. Bringing our mind back to ourselves. To ourselves who sometimes we take for granted. We take ourselves for granted. All that we do All the effort that we put in, 
we take ourselves for granted. All the goodness that we give to the world, we don't, we don't recognize. And so we turn back and look at ourselves. Being that being that has eyes of unconditional love. We look at ourselves. And we accept ourselves. We rejoice in ourselves. We hear ourselves. Expecting nothing in return. We are our own good friends. Expecting nothing of ourselves. No agenda. No expectation. So we slowly come to the end of this meditation, bringing our minds back to the space that we're in, bringing our mind back to our body, the feelings from our feelings and from our head to our toes. Feeling what it means to be back in this room, on this seat, in this space that we're in. When you're ready, you can slowly open your eyes. Thank you, everybody, for...
being there and practicing together, that was really nice to good friends. And uh, yeah, that was, that was 